Hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Mohammed. I'm one of the AD doctors. Uh, can I know your name, please? Yes, I'm Abdulfar uh, AD staff. Nice to meet you, Abdulfar. I'm Mohammed AD staff. Nice to meet you as well, Mohammed. Are you both ATLS trained? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to receive a 25-year-old lady. She was hit by a car while she was crossing the, ro the road like 15 minutes ago. She's going to be here in two minutes. So we need to prepare ourselves, okay? okay. So I'm going to be the team leader. Is that all right? Yeah. And right. Abdul Afar, are you happy to look after the airway and breathing for me? Of course. Good. And Muhammad, can you look after the circulation monitors and medications? Is that all right? Sure. Fine. So um, if you can prepare the airway truly, oxygen and suction. Of course. All right. Ready. And if we can have all the monitors uh, ready, okay, we need pulse oximeter, non-invasive blood pressure, and cardiac monitor, the ultrasound machine to be ready in here as well. Okay, and Muhammad, are you? Could you please activate the trauma team for me as well? Patient okay. arrived. Fantastic. So, Abdul Afar, are you happy to to do the airway assessment? Okay. Is she talking? Is she talking? Yes, she's talking. Are you okay? Fantastic. I want to look, uh, listen, and see. Fine. Is there any gurgling, strider, or snoring? No. Fantastic. And can you have a look inside her mouth? Okay. Baby, can you open your mouth, please? The mouth is uh, intact. It's Clear. Clear. All right. Okay. So I'm happy with the airway. Are you able to apply high flow oxygen, 50 of liters, course. via okay. non rebreather mask? Of course. Done. Thank you so much. And can you, Mohammed, apply the whole monitors? Okay. Monitor applied. Monitor connected. All right. Monitor okay. Yeah. So now let's move and assess the B, okay? okay. Uh, what about the respiratory rate? 35. 35. Oh, she's tachypneic. And is there any obvious injuries over the chest? No, it's clear. Axillary? No. Fantastic. Normal. And what about the chest movement? Is it looks like uh, equal. equal bilaterally? Yeah, it's with, equal. With respiration. Fine. Uh, can you feel the trachea? It's central. Central. Fantastic. And feel the chest, any tenderness or crevitus? No, in it's normal bilateral. Okay, all right. And now, can you do the percussion for me, please? Yeah? It's resonant? Uh, resonant. Resonant. Okay. Resonant. Mm -hmm. Resonant. Mm -hmm. Resonant. Okay. And auscultation? Air entry? Air entry equal, yeah. Normal? Air, normal. Okay. Normal. Yeah. Normal. Normal. Fine. Heart normal. Heart sounds? Yeah, it's uh, normal. Thank you. So I'm happy with the B as well. All right. So now let's move uh, to the circulation. Um, <clears throat> so what about the, Hamad, can you do the circulation assessment for me? Pulse rate, rhythm, and volume? Uh, pulse rate, uh, 135. Volume? Uh, volume is uh, normal. Uh, blood pressure? Blood pressure is uh, uh, 80 over 45. One, two, three, four, five. It's four. Yeah, remove your finger. Okay. It's so four. four, so it's prolonged. Uh, skin warm. Uh, it's uh, cold. 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 Okay. Can you feel the abdomen for me? Abdomen by inspection. Is it, is it is any is obvious injuries on the abdomen? Yeah, there is a bruising in the abdomen. Okay. And okay. is it tender? Yeah, it's tender. Okay. Can you have a look to the uh, pelvis? Pelvis, uh, it's normal. Okay. Any, have a look uh, to the pelvis, but keep patient dignity. Okay. Any obvious bruise or deformity or anything? There is a bruise uh, also in the pelvis. Okay. And what about the, 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 the thigh? Any evidence of fractured shaft of femur? No, it's normal. Okay. So, obviously, uh, this patient is in shock. <coughs> She's tachycardic, she's uh, hypotensive, prolonged capillary refill time, okay? And there is some bruise, her abdomen is tender, and there is some bruise over her pelvis. So would you mind, please, to activate the major hemorrhage protocol? Major hemorrhage protocol activated. Thank you. And can you give a tranexamic acid? One gram IV over 10 minutes, followed by one gram over uh, eight hours. Okay, tranexamic acid okay. started and given over 10 minutes. Thank you so much. And can you please apply a pelvic binder? Make sure that uh, it's gonna be at the level. Can you help him please, Abdul Ghaffar? No, from that, come here, come from this side. Okay, minimal mobility to the patient. And then at the level of the greater trochanter. Okay, pelvic binder make sure applied. nothing in her uh, pocket or anything. Okay. Nothing there. Okay, we need pelvic to remove the applied. patient clothes, all right? And 
uh, put the hospital gown and, and, and cover the patient with a uh, bed uh, sheet as well. Okay. All right? Fine. Uh, <clears throat> so, can you please put two large bull cannulae in the anticubital veins? Okay, two large cannulae. Okay, please. Fine. And take blood for uh, blood gas, full blood count, urea and electrolytes, uh, lipase, coagulation profile, blood group, and cross matching. Okay, and, and, I need, and, and I need pregnancy and test as well. Okay, blood uh, collected and sent for lab. Okay, have you taken the pregnancy test with you? Yes. <coughs> yeah, the patient's pregnant, uh, 35 weeks pregnant. Oh, so she's a pregnant lady. So we need to, uh, actually she's in shock, okay? So, uh, Abdul Ghaffar, can you call the obstetric team? Of course. And the pediatric uh, ICU as well? Patient okay? and respond. Patient and respond. And responsive? Yeah. Can you please uh, check responsiveness? Hello, hello, lady. Are you okay? N uh, patient not respond. Can you press the buzzer, okay? Yeah? And um, look, listen, and feel, and feel the pulse at the same time. There is no okay. sign of life. No sign. Start CBR. She's in cardiac arrest. Okay? And attach the defibrillator. Okay, attach the defibrillator. Okay? And let us assess the rhythm. Asystole? Asystole. So continue CBR, please. Abdul Afar, can you give her adrenaline, one in 10,000 IV, and then repeat every three to five minutes? I need the uh, obstetric team uh, immediately in here. OK? So if there is no ROSC within five minutes, we need to do resuscitative hysterotomy. OK? Can I have uh, scalpel 10, please? Okay? Ready. Ready? Ready. Fine. So please remind me in four minutes, if there is no ROSC, we need to do resuscitative hysterotomy immediately. Okay. okay? Four minutes finish. All right. So we need to do uh, immediate resuscitative hysterotomy. Where is it? Yeah. Scalp is ready. Okay. I'm, I'm going to put some gloves, okay? okay? Clean the area quickly, and then long incision, vertical incision from the sternum until the suprabubic area, okay? And then immediately we have the uterus and open with vertical incision. Remove the baby, remove the placenta, okay? okay. And pack it, okay, with gauze, and all right? Doctor and continue CBR. Okay. Can we have the obstetric team? Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Someone to look after the baby for us? Yeah. Oh, hi. Um, my name is Mohammed. I'm one of the AD team, okay? We've got this lady. She's uh, 35, 25 years old. She came with a, a road traffic accident, and actually she's pregnant 35 weeks. Unfortunately, she went to cardiac arrest, okay? And then um, we did resuscitative hysterotomy uh, in at five minutes, okay? okay? And I will let you to continue, okay? Yeah. There is a pulse now. There is pulse. Yeah. Fantastic. So we've achieved ROSC. So let's start post resuscitation care in A, B, C, D, E uh, manner. Airway and, and breathing. We need to intubate the patient. Okay. okay. Circulation. We need to uh, actually continue giving her blood transfusion. Blood All right. Done. Yeah. We need to call the ICU as well. She needs to go to the theater. Are you happy that she will go to the theater immediately? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Fine. D, we need to prevent hypohyperglycemia. And A, we need to um, uh, keep her temperature at 36. Okay. All right? Done. Okay. Thank you so much. So Thank after you. moving to the theater, we're going to do a quick debriefing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.